Not long after, the emperor now sent one of his ministers of his court to see how the men were getting on, and to ascertain whether the cloth would soon be ready, and the scene from the day before repeated itself. Does not the stuff appear as beautiful to you as it did to the emperor's old tutor? asked the impostors of the emperor's second ambassador, at the same time making the same gestures as before, and talking of the design and colors which were not there. I certainly am not stupid, thought the minister. Could it be that I'm not yet fit to be a minister? Well, that's no wonder, I suppose. My father bought me the position, and I remember what he told me all those years ago. <laughs> Fake it until you make it. <laughs> I know what I must do. And so history repeated itself, as the minister sent by the emperor praised the stuff he could not see, and declared that he was delighted with both colors and patterns. Indeed, your imperial majesty said he to his sovereign when he returned. The cloth which the weavers are preparing is extraordinarily magnificent.